1985 was the year in which budget gaming in the UK really took off. The ability of us kids to buy games for two quid sparked a massive increase in sales. However, the majority of original games were pretty awful all told. One of the standout coders working for Mastertronic was David Jones and this was his debut game for the company. A manic miner style platformer with some light puzzle elements linked by a maze game. Magic Knight needs cash, fast as the king has forgotten his daughter's birthday. He is despatched to Spriteland Castle to collect items to sell or combine to generate the required money. Alternatively, the knight can do a runner with the cash if he can find a way out. For a budget game, there is a lot of meat on the bones of this one. The platforming is manic minor level difficult and the maze is of sufficient size to warrant dusting down your mapping skills. Controls are okay although the jumping does take some getting used to. Graphically, you can see its spectrum heritage but that was easily excused at the price. Sound is jaunty enough as well. The puzzling comes from having the right items in your limited inventory. As an example, if you had the bar of lead and picked up the philosopher's stone you get a gold bar. The game sold around 350,000 copies across the four micros it was released for and proved the market was there at that price. Thumbs up!